Hi, how are you? It's Lily Leung. And I'm so happy to be here with you. I'm sorry for coming in a little bit later. My mom wanted me to do, I mean, yeah, she wanted to do something and I couldn't really use the computer. I do apologize for that. Um, yes, she was occupying the kitchen. So I'm borrowing the space in here. Well, how was your day? I know I forgot to drop down my my PDF for you. And I just wanted to say that, I'm sorry, mom wants me to do something for her. Hold on a second. Yes, I'm so sorry. My mom wanted to have her, her oh, wanted to have that. She's having something to eat right now. She's growing something to eat. So I'm so sorry for that. I mean, I ate something earlier, uh, but I didn't, I didn't wait for, for this. I have some bite. Anyhow, yeah, I have some something. She just prepared sweet potato, steamed sweet potato. It, it sounds really good, right? Yeah. So after the recording, I'm going to go and jump ahead for the sweet potato. Anyhow, I do want to welcome you for today. I'm excited that you're here. And I'm just want to want to welcome those who are here. And uh, I think I forgot something. Let me see. Yeah, I think I forgot something. Anyway, let me just jump ahead. I'm just gonna do that later. I forgot something to do and there has been a lot of things, but this morning I went out with my mom. We spent almost, let me see. Yeah, we spent quite a bit outside and she just wanted to walk. We had a good time walking and she was shopping. Um, like, like, you know, she's a little bit older. I cannot just have her walk so fast. So I was with her, we were shopping and doing things. And she was happy that we got sweet potato. And one of the favorite ones that she likes, yellow sweet potato. It makes me a little hungry but i'm not so hungry like i said i just had some steamed what do you call banana bread yeah it's like a steamed banana bread but with oatmeal that's right i do we do eat very healthy as you will say we steam our food and that's one of the things that the people forget the best thing that you can do is having fresh food and fruits and that helps your your loved one your family yes so that will help your family greatly and nevertheless it is something that it will help you in the years to come to have your parents more more independent for longer and and much happier as well i know you will say well um, a lot of people say that other people say that you know eating healthy is good doing the right thing is good but my parents are a little bit strong head and they don't want to do it uh, I'm so sorry my mom is watching her third 
tem. I'm so sorry again. Well, I'm home with mom and she she was watching one of her favorite what do you call favorite uh post? Yeah, I don't know how to say it. Favorite post or share that she found on the on her on the internet that she's watching on her tablet. Yes, I had to turn off the mic because Facebook, it will, if Facebook hears other types of music, they are able to shut it off. So I needed to uh, turn off her tablet so it will not interfere with Facebook cutting off my life. Yes, like I said, it is a good thing to have something to do with your parents and to enjoy it together. It is the best thing that you can do to enjoy things together. I hope that you don't hear the, what do you call? The fan, the fan is running right now because it's a little warm in the house and my mom wanted the fan. I hope you don't mind about that. So she's enjoying her sweet potato. Yes, yes, just I do apologize for that. I forgot to mention that, yeah, today I'm sharing about food. Food is very important for you and for your family, for your parent, especially your parent. They have to eat very healthy food, um, get the proper nutrients for them to continue to have their immune system up and all of that. Yes, the immune system, their mobility, so they can be mobile, they can do things, they can be independent as much as possible. That's one of the most important thing to make your caregiving much easier and less, what do you call, less burdensome if your parents are still mobile to maintain their mobility is something very important. And that's something that I totally am in favor of, that your parents should be eating healthy and yourself as well, not forgetting yourself. Because if we forget yourself, um, you will not go very far if you don't eat well. Eating those high processed food, like nowadays, it is not, it's not going to help. I'm sorry if I tell you this, but I myself, I was in the past eating also uh, processed food, like uh, the, what you call the cereals that they sell on the supermarkets, the, the pre-packaged cereals. They will say they add a lot of vitamins and minerals, but at the same time, I was not able to digest them. I wasn't able to digest a lot of food. And there is a growing, growing, what do you call, a growing percentage of people where, a growing population, let me say it like this, a growing population where people are not digesting well their food. Yeah, especially high processed food and a lot of people are also having trouble in digesting meat i am one of them i don't know about you if you are one of them but there is a lot of people like that and with that over time it happens that the body is not able to yeah, it's not able to to digest well, and it just breaks havoc. 
I'm just going to give you an example. For a long time, I will say, I don't know if you are in this situation. For a long time, I wasn't wasn't able to really to enjoy food. I was having a lot of allergies. Yes, the allergies was very extreme and my skin was very crushy and it was not clean like right now. My skin is very clean and clear right now. But in the past, I was having a lot of acne problem in all over my face, all over my yeah, everywhere. Yeah, all, but especially my face. My face um, and my neck. Yeah, so it's very, it was very uh, painful as well having, having them uh, acne or painful, some people would say. It is not an easy thing to go through that, especially when when you are a woman and a lot of people expect you to be certain way and not have any pimple, not have have a clean skin. For the most majority of, the, of my youth, I did not have a clean and clear skin. After I really switched my lifestyle of eating high processed food, and also things that I'm not really able to digest. I had to change that, change it to things that I'm able to eat. And I didn't do that overnight or all by myself. I didn't do that like that. Actually, I have help from, from someone who will guide me. And I was able, little by little, I found mentors, I I learned as much as possible about eating well, about taking care of your body. So that's one of the parts where you have to eat well and be able to to take care of your parents, to be able to, to serve them. Because as a caregiver, you cannot have joy if you are not eating well, taking care of yourself, you're not able to serve your parent and much less to be happy about it. A lot of times are a lack of, lack of, um, what do you call Lack of eating well, it affects our health, our body so much that we cannot do much for ourselves and much less for our family. So you do have to take care of yourself. I must say that if you don't take care of yourself, you won't you won't be well. So who of you who of you are learning to eat more healthy and living into I mean trying to live a more healthy lifestyle? You can let me know in the comment section below. I know a lot of people say, but I don't, I don't, I don't like fruits. I don't like vegetables. I must say that you will, you, you will learn to love them and to like them. And that happens with me. I learned to love and to like fruits and vegetables, especially now that I see that my body is 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 not having so much of the what they call the allergies, the acne. I know I'm not perfect. I know that there were times that I had enjoyed a piece of bread, baked bread. Yes, I know it's not good for me, but sometimes I crave it. So you don't have to be so harsh on yourself. It is understandable that you will do that. Yes, so today is about 
eating well because we know that a lot of times we don't do it we know that we need to do it but we don't do it and sometimes you just need an encouragement so from someone to eat well and sometimes it is because you need someone who will encourage you to to do things right but you will say Lily this is just a little bit um, well that has to do with your caregiving of course it has to do a lot if you are eating well you will be also happier to take care of your parents have you thought of that that if you take care of yourself you will be a better caregiver to your parents you will be, you will be able to serve them better and well when you do that of course you do and i encourage you that you can you can let me know about that besides of eating well for a caregiver and for their parents which is very important to understand that your parents need to need to have encouragement themselves into eating what is right for them sometimes well a lot of times people will say yeah a lot of people will say well a lot of people like to eat candy they like to eat what is not good for them they like to eat what do you call like a fast food chain uh, restaurant I would say yes it does sometimes you cannot do anything about it except that you have to be patient with your parent or your loved one and try to encourage them to eat right especially if they yeah you can encourage them and also Sometimes I will say, but well, why you don't eat right? And you telling me to eat right. I will say to you that probably you have to start with you to eat right in before you can be an example to your parents to eat right. Yes. When you are firm in your con the conviction, I'm sorry, when you are firm in your conviction of eating right your parents will follow through as well and that happened with me i will say that i am very blessed that my mom she was she's she was into eating healthy already she wasn't eating fried foods she wasn't eating um, what do you call um, high processed food like cereals High processed seals boxes yeah she wasn't into that she wasn't into eating out and take out she likes to be home and eat at home and but still she needed a little bit more guidance about eating eating even better than she had in the past You can let me know what is your favorite well call your favorite food that you like and you know that it's not good for you perhaps you can let me know what it is for me it has been baked bread like a baked good uh french bread yes like baguette you will say that baguette yeah baguette and i used to like to eat croissants before as well but i do find that whenever i eat baked bread or croissant my face will break out and recently i was not too long ago i was also indulging into eating bread 
bread is very addictive. I will say that very very addictive. Um, whenever I eat bread, I usually will wake up with a lot of acne, and my face will be kind of covered, and also my neck. Yeah, I will have one big one in right in here, which is which it looks weird uh, to have a very big pimple right in your neck and sometimes it will hurt and sometimes it will be like it will want to ooze it's not really very it's not very insightful i will say that especially for for a woman yes that has been some of the things that i have to do with And I wanted to also share, I wanted to share something that I was reading today that I thought it was really interesting. Yes, let me just go to it. Well, I'm gonna read a quote from D.L. Moody, yeah, the evangelist. A man cannot more take in a supply of grace for the future than he can eat enough for the next six months or take sufficient air into his lungs at one time to sustain life for a week. We must draw upon God's boundless store of grace from day to day as we need it. And that's so truthful about it. Uh, yes, a man cannot more take in a supply of grace for the future than he can eat enough for the next six months or take sufficient air into his lungs at one time to sustain life for a week. We must draw upon God's boundless store of grace from day to day as we need it. The Almuti Evangelist. So this quote I'm reading from The Caregiving Season with Jane Dolly. Yes, they are from Focus of the Family. But yeah, Jane Dolly, she, she wrote this book. And I will say that God can give us grace as we embark into a new new phase about being a joyful caregiver. And I will say that His grace is sufficient. I know that there are many things for us to incorporate in our lives, to add into our lives. But it doesn't have to be dreadful, overwhelming. You can add them little by little and cut things that are not really helping your health. And that will really help you as well. I know that, what do you call? Yes. I know that this is very easy to say, especially if you are not really used to, to eating healthy or to try as much as possible. I try as much as possible so, so to eat healthy. Like in any type of, any type of, uh, what you call, things that you want to do, if you don't allow God to empower you to do it, you will not really want to do it. I'm going to say that to you. You won't. You won't be able to do it as well. And, uh, one of the things that I forgot is that
that uh, it is not easy. It is not easy to add that, but uh, simply, if you don't look at it as something to add to yourself, but something where you said, well, this is something that can help a little bit on my journey. If you will look at it like that, if you will look at it as a as a lifestyle, like a, a long uh, a long life lifestyle, it will really help you a lot. And we have to be coming to terms that if we don't improve our own health and our parents' health, actually things can be a lot much worse in caring for them. It is. It is a lot, a lot much harder when they are with more health challenges. I can attest you with that. When my mom, she was, she fell and she was hurting and she had like a bruise. It was a lot harder to take care of her because, you know, let me say it like this. When a, when a parent, when your parent get into a situation where they fell, they hurt themselves, and you have to assist them to go to the bathroom, you have to um, help them to get up, you have to do all these things where when they are mobile and doing things for themselves, it makes life much easier, don't you think? Well, for me, it is. It is makes things much easier when my mom can get up by herself. She can do things. She can be in the kitchen. She can be out of the house and going downstairs. It is a lot much easier for me. It is not as hard. When she fell, it, it was really, really hard, hard to to help her, help her because she will be very whiny, very, what do you call, throwing a pity party. Yes, they will do that. I know we have to be respectful of our parents, but this is what you will face when your parents are going through some difficulties and they will want I mean, they need your help, yes, but sometimes they just put so much pressure on you, on caring for them, on doing things for them, and they wish you to do things right away, doing things already done before, two minutes ago. Yes, they can be quite demanding. And with that demanding state, you can easily become what do you call crash you can crash it's not crash it's burnout yeah you can have a burnout when when you have to face that all of a sudden your parents are not marvel their needs are increasing and they are genuine needs they need aid for everything they cannot go by themselves to do things or go downstairs or go to to the bathroom and, and things like that the simplest things that they can do if they cannot be mobile and be able to do it for themselves you can prepare yourself for a really difficult time for the most part I'm just saying that because I have seen it. I have seen other people in that same situation. I know that it is not easy. It is absolutely not easy at all. Absolutely not easy at all. But the other aspect on, on health, it is that you as a caregiver 
You need to take care of yourself. You cannot serve God and your parents more effectively if you are not well. If you are failing, your health is failing, you won't do well. I'm sorry to tell you. I know that those foods like bread, cookies, and different types of foods, I mean foods, the person can feel bloated, I would say, bloated, and also affects their mood. I know it does for me. It does affect my mood if I'm doing, if I'm eating a, if I'm doing like a food for me to eat and it's not, it is not as, as natural, like I said before, the example of bread, if it's not, if it's bread, and I, and I eat too much of it, I know that I'm not going to feel well. I know that my stomach will be upset with me. But sometimes you have to remember that no matter who you're following and what you're doing, you won't know the difference about that. Yeah, so that's what I wanted to share with you. It has been such a, yeah, this is, has been such a blessing to be here, to be able to share my, my experience with food with you. That's just a small part of it. Now that my mom has been a lot more eating better now, she is more mobile. Even after, I mean, before she was still mobile, but it helped her to maintain her mobility, to eat healthier. And she is, she can, she's still, we, let me let me say this. We live in a in an apartment, well, on the fifth floor, and she can still go into a kitchen. She still can do things for herself. A lot of times, people think that someone who is her age won't be able to be in the kitchen and serve. Well, I do also know a lot of people who, persons who are in their ages, but they're still very active, very, very happy to do things. Mm -hmm. Let me just get some water because I'm feeling a little bit uh, a little bit thirsty in here. Talking a lot actually makes you be a little bit thirsty. It is. It is. I do need to drink more water. I know that it is not like in that beginning stage with my mom. I know that we have this, uh, yeah, I will say that you better don't have a discussion with your parents about that you are right and they are not right because it's not gonna go well, first of all. Actually, it will backfire. It's better not to even argue with with them at all, especially on food. And for the longest time, I did have, I had a discussion with my mom and she was thinking that, no, 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 I need to do this because this is how we learn it to do 
things like this way instead of you telling me to do things that way. It is actually not easy at all. When down in that position, especially, it is not easy. But at the same time, you can rest assured that you will be the first example and then your parents will follow. Like I said, my mom now is it's a lot much better on eating much healthier than she was before. And also we cut down, cut away from processed sugar. It's not like my mom doesn't have sometimes her cravings as well to eat bread, just like me. She also likes bread. Yeah, baking bread. Bake bread, especially like the artisan bread. She also likes it. Same same thing like me. I also like the garlic bread with what do you call that? I forgot the name. I have the picture in my mind. I I remember. Finally, parsley. Yes. Parsley bread with garlic. Oh, it's so good. I do. I mean, I do miss it. But I sometimes, you have to remember why you're doing this. You're cutting down bread. I am. I, you will say, but you are very thing. You don't need to cut down bread. Yes, but I need to cut down bread because it's not really helping myself. It is not. Eating bread is really not what's not really helping me. When you eat food that has been overly cooked, you are not really absorbing much nutrient, actually. Yeah, you are not really taking in a lot of nutrients. I mean, it tastes good. I still remember the taste of parsley garlic bread. Yes, I know, it's weird, and garlic tastes so good, right? It makes things tasty. Yes, it does. It does make things taste tasty. But that's one of my favorite breads, besides the, the other bread that I told you before, the French bread, the baguette. Then the next one will be partially garlic bread. That's another favorite for me and my mom. But right now we're not having any of it. Especially now that I especially now that I found out that they put I'm sorry, they put like it's not butter actually is they put like margarine margarine or some type of artificial butter and when i saw that i was like oh that's why that's why it tastes strange that's why it's, it is not plain bread because they put that so it will not stick to the pan i was a little bit disappointed when when i saw that and my mom was with me too. We saw that in this, in our favorite supermarket. I was thinking, no wonder when I came home, I will not feel well from eating bread because I know, I know that I have made bread before. I have made bread before, but anyway, I had to cut down from all flours and bread. I mean, I have baked before, and I know it doesn't have that taste. And that taste was something that it tasted like burnt, like burnt oil. It was not really something that I enjoy about bread. Actually, it took away the the bread in, the bread itself. And I was like, uh, I don't really want to do this anymore. And also, I 
I got to my mentor and he agreed that I should not have any flour, bread, because it's not really so good for me anyways. And maybe that's something that you are you're struggling with, with bread. I'm just giving you an example. But you can let me know in the chat if you are struggling with bread. And also you can let me know what is your favorite, favorite food that you enjoy and the favorite food that you enjoy you and your parents together. I know that that will be something very helpful. I do have this question for you. Do you consider yourself someone who is into eating and living healthy? Let me know. Or do you think yourself that you should enjoy your life altogether without any frustration, without anything at all? I will say to you that you could, but the outcome of it, I already know that it's not a very good outcome, especially nowadays that a lot of the food are, are kind of not what it used to be before, especially if you still how do you call that? Like if you're still in that process about what to do about that and but you don't want to put out a lot of things okay you can only i mean you can if you could just only pick up a new habit only one that for example to have uh, first to drink a cup of water to help you to cleanse your intestine number two will be what you think in your mind number three will be Number three will be, uh, what is it called? Adding to your breakfast fruits. Yes, that's right. Adding your breakfast fruits, that will be also very helpful for you, even though if you just don't want to change anything at all. But if you keep hydrating, first thing in the morning, one glass of, a, one glass of water, of eight ounces of blood of water it will be equally helpful to you you might not see the experience that you see in me and my mom but it will be good it's a good start yeah it is a good start to do this <clears throat> I'm so sorry, I have a little funny nose and I would like to come back to you. I'm trying to see where it is my napkin. Hold on a second. Let me just get some more water because I am truly a little bit thirsty. Here is I'm with my cup of water. I'm so sorry to have to wait. I need to take a little bit of sip of water.
I am so happy now that I drank my water. I'm not thirsty. Yes, talking a lot, it does make you thirsty. And you have to be mindful of yourself to drink water. Yes, if you will add even just that to have a cup of water just when after you brush your teeth. Yes, you have to brush your teeth before you even drink water. Yes, we have to take care of our teeth as well. And that will be something that you have to take in consideration. Yes, so the first thing you can do in the morning is When you get up, I will want you to do this. Just, just think. When you get up in the morning, the first thing you can do is being thankful and grateful to God. That's the most, the most uh, helpful thing that you can do. And after that, you can be thankful to Him. Uh, start to clean your bible that will be very good because i all of you are here and then you you are christians for the most part i hope you have a a quiet time with him that is very very helpful to quiet time and also after that you have um, brush your teeth and then you have some water you can have room, room temperature water room temperature water will help your stomach uh, will, will help to clean your stomach and your intestine and that's, that's like uh, doing the flush it will flush out anything that is in your intestine and that's very helpful for you for you <clears throat> and after that you wait like 10 minutes after 10 minutes you can have 10 or 15 minutes it all depends if you can wait 15 minutes even better after the 10 or 15 minutes you can have fruit one type of fruit and that fruit will help you to uh, yeah it will help you in the morning to give you more energy and that's what i've been doing i've been having fruit in the morning but except for pineapple and kiwi because pineapple and kiwi they are picked very unripe so you won't you won't benefit from it but the other fruits, they are also pick on ripe. A lot of time, they when they are put in the counter, they actually kind of ferment. You will say that, and they are not really mature from the tree. Like they are ripe from the tree, and that's even better if they are ripe from the tree. That will be really delicious. The fruit. And after that, you can wait like 15 or 20 minutes before you will have enough breakfast if you're still hungry. Mm -hmm. Just let me know, have you ever tried to have breakfast only with fruits? I hope you do because I know that I do, and um, I'm so sorry. And um, they have the the car that is beeping. We are next to a parking lot, and we hear a lot of noises in here. So I apologize for that.
I'm gonna need another sip of water. Let me know if you will try that, what I share with you about, uh, I'm so sorry. If you will share with, yeah, if you will try on You will try that to have breakfast with with fruit. Yeah, just have one type of fruit and have it for breakfast. And some people they will even do lemon juice. You can try that for if you would like for five days. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> There's one thing I need to correct myself i need to go and rest earlier as well i know like i said to you i am not perfect and there's still a lot of things that i need to work on and that's one of the things that i need to work on yes so you can try that for five days and see if you like to continue to do that or just keep the breakfast minimum for every day like after you do it for five days Try to do it for 12 days next time. And then you would kind of need to do it for two weeks next time, eating just fruit in the morning. But I know that that will be really helpful because I know it is for me. I've been doing that. And my my initial my initial thoughts on eating fruits was like, are you for real, doctor, that you want me to have fruit in the morning? Would that really sustain me? That's something that I ask myself and I ask my my friend about if eating the fruit will really help me to be full and that I will have energy. I was worrying all those kinds of questions. But I can tell you that you don't have to worry because they did worry that will have something major happen to me. If I continue to eat fruit and eat banana. Yes, so that's about one of the things that I had to deal with. But actually, you don't have to be afraid because the sugar in fruits, it is much better to digest than sugar from from other from other types of uh, what do you call that? I know I forgot the name. Yeah, for other types of of food, is it food? Yeah, a lot of people they say, oh, use this and use that, and then they don't have a real solution to the problem. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, I had to mute myself. My mom turned on her iPad again. And basically, I will say to you that you don't have to worry about eating fruit in the morning. A little bit of fruit in the morning won't, won't be bad for you unless, unless you say that, uh, 
And then she said that you are worried about the outcome of eating fruit because of X, Y, C. And I, I will say to you that you don't have to worry because fruit actually is good for you. It is not bad. It is not bad at all. For me, when I change it to having fruit, I am more energetic right after it. And it hydrates me. That's another point of having your breakfast with fruits. And even for your parent. My mom, she is much happier with fruits. Yes, it is. Like, for example, I can give you some example. Like with... Even with banana. Banana also, like I gave you an example, banana. Banana has some uh, vitamins that, that I was reading an article that helps with with your moods and also to sleep better. And I do see that in my in myself that you can really sleep better when you choose the fruit. But sometimes you don't need to do that alone. And sometimes we just don't know how to properly implement that or properly uh, use that. So that's how it is. But anyways, this is something that you can ask yourself. What are the things that you're doing? to have more energy in your morning? What are, uh, are you incorporating healthy choices in your daily life? Are you just, are you just, just uh, are you just going with the flow with everyone? I totally get it. It is not for everyone to make changes. It is not for everyone to do what is right for you. But I know that that's something that you have to decide to do because you see the value of having a, a much healthy life for you and your family member. Because if not, you don't see it that way, I don't think you will do it. Yeah, so right now they are going with, what do you call, they are not seeing outside, but I do want to apologize to you. I hope that this was, you were able to listen to me as you watch the video. I still remember the time that my friend Yeah, I, I saw my friend, my mom's friend today. It was very good. I haven't seen her for a long while. And my mom too. She hadn't seen her for a long while. And it was very helpful to see her as we were finishing shopping from the marketplace and we walked through my friend's place and she was I mean my mom's friend's place and she was there she was happy she was enjoying our company I only was there for a little bit a few minutes at a time well I know that you have been here I hope that this was valuable to you, valuable to you. You can let me know and you can feel free to invite a friend if you would like, uh, if you think that they need to get my message in here. You can let them know. Um, you can invite them to the Facebook group. And I know that I haven't dropped the, what do you call PDF for you with the questions that I that I said to you. I I was trying to work on that and also working on different things. 
yesterday was a very busy day for me and I know that I will have that just in a little bit and I will deliver it to you without any further also I hope that this was helpful to you and you would like to be back tomorrow I'll have something to share with you more to share with you I thank you so much for being here God bless. Bye. Hope you enjoy your rest of your day. Um.